Hey there. I wanted to talk today about the three lessons that I'm hoping to learn in this art burning. So I talked last week about social awareness, about supporting the arts, and I'm not just talking about my art. And, the, and these issues are a reality. And today I want to talk about the second lesson. The second lesson is the lesson of non-attachment. I'm not afraid to lose all of this work. And what I want people to realize is whether someone buys it or not, it has to go. And it has to go in the same vein that I um, purged my closet years ago. I used to be substantially heavier. And as a matter of fact, as I got smaller and uh, was healthier and stronger and my clothes didn't fit, people couldn't wait for me to get rid of my old clothes. And it was hard. I kept wearing them and they didn't fit because I was not really acknowledging who I was in that moment. And I didn't need to keep a closet full of my fat clothes to, to know who I used to be. I lived it. I'd been there. I didn't, not even one pair. It, it re, there's no, what, in case I got heavy again? I mean, no thank you. And in the same way, I, I wanted people to understand that I'm here in the studio and what it's like to be physically crowded and suffocated by so much work that you've accumulated from the past that it almost uh, makes it difficult to be in the present and to grow and to detach from that work, to freely create for the future. And that I feel like when I'm old, looking at, like old, looking at old photographs all the time or listening to the same jokes that people had in the high school or, you know, to, that it just somehow holds me to the level of that work or the space I was in when I made that work. And I don't think it's great. No, I, you know, hey, look, rarely uh, I've, I've had some nice blips on the map, but I'm going to tell you, I don't think my work is great. Not, I know what I'm capable of artistically, and there's so much more that I have to give. And in order for me to get to that level, I need to clean the closet. I need to purge the work. It needs to leave. Um, it's not a bad thing. So I know many of you are concerned, and some of you really see and you really get what the cleanse, the deep cleanse is all about. And I want to just put it in one more reference for you. If I owned a bakery and I was sentimentally attached that my ego was convinced these are the best recipes I have, yet I was a failing business and I wasn't thriving the way in my heart I really yearned to thrive, I have very few choices. Either I'm going to get me some new recipes or I'm going to be closing my doors. So I'm not going to have the ego to stay in this space to look at old work and think that that's all I am. And I don't have to keep it and I don't have to be surrounded. I simply want to encourage those of you who have enjoyed my work that if there is something that you want to reach out and all, all offers will be considered. I mean, you know me, please. But it needs to go, bought or not. And it is an act. It absolutely is an act. I'm not into performance art, but there's a lot of awareness to be made through this transition. A lot of people I know are having to switch careers and reinvent themselves after the same job at 10, 15, 20 years. This leaves a lot of questions for you to think about. What would you do if you could start over with a clean slate? So I'm getting there. I'm going to be going through this process. I could have quietly just thrown it all out and done it on my own. There's too much to learn here. So stay with me for this journey. Um, I hope that you comment and respond. I'm open to it all. Criticisms, you know, support. I'm, I'm, I'm not beyond uh, a couple of questions about it. Am I making a mistake? Maybe. Absolutely. I could be. I could be absolutely making a mistake. But I can't live my life afraid of making mistakes. The commitment I made to this feels really good. I feel very strongly about it. And when I burnt that first self-portrait that's on post number one, it felt right and it happened in a moment. It happened, I grabbed my phone, a match, the work, and it's really in response to something that's been gestating for a while. So um, join me for this journey. The new website is up at demarcostudio.com and uh, with the calendar of works. So believe in me, follow me along, and uh, we'll see where this leads.